Hey there, folks. It's Boba the Vulture again, with a little bit more of Metal Gear. And, uh, I think I figured out. I did, uh, a little bit of analyzing my videos, a little bit of looking around here, there, and everywhere on the, uh, big wide internet of ours. You know how it is. And, um, I think I got this worked out. What I need to do, after I unpause and listen to the Arnold's, their music, it's awesome, it is the Jared Boss music. The generic. I, 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 I kind of tripped through that improperly. Uh, got to equip card one and make a run for it down to this corner. Ah! No, the Arnold. He got me. That guy's not gonna get me though. Never gonna get me. Never gonna get me. Never gonna get me. Never gonna get me. Let's. Uh, well, let's eat a ration, because we're kind of low on health. Now we got all that health back. And we're wearing our lovely and passionate body armor. Let's kill some people. Because that is what Salt Snake does best. Now we go into this room here. There's ammo in here. We like ammo. I've located the ammunition. I've located the ammunition. Did I mention I've located the ammunition? Now then. Aha! The ammunition, oddly enough, fills your handgun, your machine gun, and your grenade on your rocket launcher. Go figure. Anyhow, we have what now? 30 shots of the rocket launcher? How many can we get in total? Let's go to the transceiver and find out. Uh, more ammunition, guys. Nothing to write home about. Okay, 30 is our maximum number of shots right now. That's okay. We'll use them. We'll kill that dude. You will notice that, uh, the enemies don't always reappear. Or not all of them do. Anyways, I've got rockets, so now I can kill the Arnold twins, which is, uh, kind of what I wanted to do. Um, so let's go ahead and get the card one equipped. Walk through here. Get out of the way of uh, the Arnold there. Get out the way, get out the way. Alright. Using our body armor and selecting the rocket launcher as a weapon. They take four rockets apiece. All right. There we go. I have located card number seven. Let me tell you, that makes me feel a lot better. So we defeated the Arnolds. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm a little bit curious about what is up here. Wait a minute. Is that not what's up here? Were we already able to get up here? Uh, this could be a little disappointing. <laughs> hmm, pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. Card key to... Well... Um... Whoa, 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 Let's run away from this screen, actually. And equip our handgun. Now then, um... Hold on a second. I gotta pull up my little, uh... Pull up my little text screen here. You know, ordinarily you'd be writing down your uh, your frequencies on uh, a little scrap of paper. I've just got a notebook file. Or a notepad file. Let's see here. I want to talk to Jennifer. Um, 
48. This is Salt Snake. Respond, please. Jennifer here. I've got a compass for you. Over. Over where? Hold on. I'm gonna get out of here. She's got a compass for us. Where is the compass? Is it in here? I know, I should have been more careful. Um... Card two. Card one. Hey, there's a compass in here. Now we have the compass. I've located the compass. I've located the compass. Okay. I'm gonna equip the compass while I'm in this room. I'm gonna equip it. And then I'm gonna call Big Boss. At his new frequency, 8513. Or 12013. This is Solid Snake. Respond, please. He's not going to answer us. Do I have to have the antenna on to talk to Big Boss? This is Solid Snake. Talk to me, Big Boss. This is Big Boss. I don't want to talk to you. Fine. Be a jerk. Okay. Well, we have the, uh... We have that thing. You know, the mega thing. The compass is what I mean to say. Jeez. Yeah, I know we're supposed to be silent death in this game, but clearly that's not working out so well for me. Was it card one or card two here? It was one of the early cards, I remember that. When I get back, the Arnold twins will have respawned! No! Anyhow, um... That's most of this building, actually, now, isn't it? Yeah, we got the uh, compass, so now we just need to find a way out. Believe that card 7 will open that one door that we couldn't get into on the first floor. But first, there was something over here. You re will recall it. I'm just gonna step out of there. I know this isn't a room to anywhere, but uh, it allows me to, uh, yeah, get back in here unnoticed. Wow, guys. He has a room right here. It does not open with card one. Let's try card two. Nope. Uh, card three, no good. Card four, no good. How about card five? Wow. Wait a minute, is this the place where... Is this supposed to... Yeah, this is the last room. Hey, yeah, it's Dr. Petrovich! Okay, so... Dr. Petrovich is here, right? Outfoxed! The real Dr. Petrovich is building number five! Die! Foxhounda! Okay, no, not dying. See, this game can be kind of a dick. It just opened up a, uh... Just opened up a pitfall underneath us while we were trying to rescue a hostage. The hostage, however, is able to levitate. He has good feng shui. You don't want none of his glowing. Alright. Uh, let's uh, equip the armor. Um, and, uh, wait for him to look the other way, you know. I don't need to kill you, buddy. I don't have to prove anything to you. And, you know, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and punch this guy out. And since I've used some bullets, you know, since I've used some bullets, go ahead and collect some up. I ha- I ha- Will you let me finish? Come on! Why you gotta be a jerk? Why you gotta break my balls? 
bust my chops. Do all that stuff I just said. Okay. I don't mind using individual bullets on these guys. I mean, come on. Okay, and this was key card one, if I remember correctly. Equip card one. Now then, the question is, do I remember the way back to the elevator? I think it's down this way, right? And I'm only guessing here, but I think it was card five to get you through this door. Yes, yes it is. And Sleepy the Guard over here. And Pitfall over there, so let's not mess with that. A Roller. Let's just get through here. Get back down to the first floor. And we're good. We are good. Doesn't matter. These guys are all toast anyway. Pretty sure there's going to be a pitfall there. Yep. That's this game for you. This game. Let's get some more and more. Um, there are rations over here, aren't there? It would be just plain wasteful not to fill up on rations while I'm right by a ration place. Right? Can't be card 7, because I know we've been in this store. Uh, yeah, that's right. Respond to the emergency down there, buddy. All of you. Okay, first of all, let's uh, eat a ration. Let's eat a peach. I've located some rations. Pretty sweet. I got some more. I'm going to ask Big Boss what's going on with him. This is Solid Snake. Big Boss, I really need your feedback. But I'm feeling neglected here. Alright, 12 is the maximum we can carry right now. I guess. So let's go back and equip our armor. And I immediately got... Ah, uh, forget it. Forget it. I got hurt by that guy walking past me. Yeah. Alright, this is... No, that's annoying. I don't want to take that much damage. As I believe I've said once or twice already, this game isn't necessarily that, like, really intensely difficult. But, uh, it can be a dick. So, uh, I don't feel like letting do that to me. It has just some instances where it just, like, you know, clearly what it's doing is a dick move. Alright, I'm gonna use the handgun to take this guy out this time. So that he doesn't bump upwards when I punch him. Because clearly, that will cause him to, uh, cause me damage. Alright, so Petrovich is not here now, he must be in the next building. That's right, guys. Don't be trying to take no pot shots at me. What did I just say? Don't be trying to take no pot shots at me. I did s eventually see what was over there, didn't I? <sighs> I think so, yeah. If I didn't, I'll have to come back later and figure it out. I'm pretty sure that it was... Yeah, that was the room where we found the hostage that told us about, um, how to defeat the Arnolds, I think. Anyways, let's go out this way. Well, you can't get through the desert without a compass, folks. You can't light a fire without a spark. Let's, uh, go through here and, uh, just take out... Scorpions as they come. Scorpions will poison us if we uh, touch them, so best to steer clear. All 
And now we are in a jungle. What is it? Northwest, southwest? No, it's just north. Hey, got a call. What's the word, Thunderbird? Big boss here. Get into the truck over on the right. Over. Well, Alright, but first, let me check out some of these other trucks. But this truck's got ammo. I like ammo. What's in this truck? Uh-oh, the truck has started to move! Oh boy. Is this the truck over on the right you were talking about, Big Boss? This isn't the truck I wanted to go in. Certainly. I think I just got set up by Big Boss. What do you folks at home think? Well, anyway, tell you what. Let's um, yeah. Let's let's try it. Let's let's see if we can figure out a way to uh, navigate our way back to where we want to be. So I remember right, there were trucks that'll transport us around down here, right? Yeah. Hey, plastic explosives. Good. I've located some. I was gonna need some later. So, it is good that we found some. Maybe Big Boss uh, had our, uh... Had our intentions, uh, right after all. It's just Big Boss works in mysterious ways. How many plastic explosives do we have now? 20. I guess 20 is the maximum we can carry. Alright. Let's go to another truck. Uh-oh. The truck has started to move. And this is... Wow, this is back to the beginning scene of the game. I'm just gonna go in here. Don't mind me. Uh-oh. The truck has started to move. In theory, you're supposed to be able to get this system down pat, because when you put in a password... Like, when you continue, it will start you, like, you know, someplace, I guess, randomly back from where you originally were. But I'm pretty sure if you put in a password, it starts you at the beginning of the game no matter what. So basically, you're supposed to use the trucks as fast travel. Okay, my turn. I don't feel like taking my turn. I'm a rebel! I'm cowboy! Uh-oh. The truck has started to move, you know, the thing that I'm always doing. With the truck. Hey, and it brings me right back here. Alright. Big boss here. Getting the truck over on the right. Over. On the right. Okay, let's try it again. Uh-oh, the truck is starting to move. Alright, so yes, definitely Big Boss was telling us to get onto a truck that will transport us backwards to the beginning. Imagine you didn't know that you could use this truck to get back. And you had to walk your whole way through the rest of the game. Anyway. Ah. Let's try this truck. What's in here? A guy. Let's not deal with that guy. Okay, we need a card key to get in here. I know, Big Boss is going to tell me to get in that truck over there. I don't think I'm going to listen to him. Yes, I know, Big Boss. You can keep calling. I don't know that I'm going to keep listening. Alright, equipment, 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 equipment. Let's keep going through card keys here. Card number five. Are you the lucky card? Boom, 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 boom. That means it wasn't the uh, correct card for those at home. Those playing our home game, you know, Metal Gear. Whoa, hey, you guys uh, were uh, happy to see me, huh? Big Boss here. Go through the door on the left. Over. You know what? First of all, I'm going to equip some armor. 
because uh, I'm beginning to wonder here. Alright, let's start using card keys. Card 7? No. Card 6? No. Maybe card 5? Yeah. No. Card 4? Again, nothing. Let's try card 3. And yes, folks, there is no simpler way to do this. I mean, other than memorizing all the card keys for our, a, you know, video game made like 15 years ago. Doesn't seem to be much going on in this room. I wonder what Big Boss really wanted us in here for. Oh god, it's a pitfall! You know... Again... Big Boss could have just, like, told you to do that, and you just moseyed on in there, doo do 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 And, uh, you might have just gone right ahead and done it. Thinking, oh, well, you know, it's Big Boss. Big Boss has our best interests at heart. Big Boss is the Big Boss. Um, the Big Boss here just <laughs> fairly suddenly seems to have, in the past two screens, decided that he's going to try and lead us either farther away from where we're trying to go, or into certain death. Read into that what you will. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to leave you to ponder over that right now while I cut the video. Uh, this is Bobo the Vulture, this is Let's Play Metal Gear, and I thank you very much for watching. See you next time!